<laughs> well, hello, YouTubers. Hello, friends. Hello, everyone. My name's Ian. Welcome to my shed. High tech shed at the moment. Uh, reason for the update? Well, uh, I've been quiet for about uh, probably eight weeks now, I think. Uh, reasons? Well, it was me. We fought my annual fortnight's holiday, so I had those off, so I was away from everything. Uh, I've had some work done in the house, which meant dismantling my PC to have the work done. And I still haven't put it back. And I've just set that up in here yesterday, and there's a reason for that, which I'll get to in a moment. And I've had problems with the car, it's gardening winter's coming so there's all the usual preparation for winter which is like you know tidy everything up paint everything make everything weatherproof so a big got those out of the way hey right, listen I'm, I'm sat here because <laughs> because I, I can't get in my workshop uh, um Another one of those, have you got a welder, can you just mend this for me please? Now that is, is kind of taking up quite a bit of my workshop. Look at that loafer, it's still there. And I've got a TV there, I need to take it to bits. Let's go back. That's it, I'll bring you a bit closer in and we can see each other. Let me have a drink of this uh, orangey boom. Right, I said I'd get back to why I'm up in here. Okay. It's, it's a shameless cry for help. And that's uh, to the YouTube community. I've got a subscriber and I subscribe to him and he's among many of us. And he's called Chopper's Rule. And through no reason of his own, I'm going to say he lost his job. Uh, making, making things by, by metalworking, by welding. And his, his weld is packed up. There's a lot more to it than that. He's, he, his father's ill. He lives in Australia. He's, you know, it's not like visiting next town. You've got to go hundreds and hundreds of miles. And always had to sell things to make the journey to go and see his dad. He's now got, not got the way, the means to make his money because his weld is broke. The guy says his weld is not worth fixing. To cut a long story short, I've heard this tale. You can have a look on Chopper's Rule, and I think it's called uh, Chop, I don't know, Chopper's Unhappy or something. I advise you to watch it. You know, touches the old hurt strings. He's not asking for help, by the way. It's me asking for help on his behalf. You know, he seems a type of guy that, uh, well, these Australians are, aren't they? You know, make do with men. Part of this community aren't we so we can all help other people we've all been there we've all been a bit nowhere to turn and somebody else a helping hand long story short he needs to raise about 400 australian dollars and that's like about 260 uk pounds 380 us dollars we kicked the ball off last night on uh, Udizzy 1969's live show. And I know that it was myself, Hazy Days, Udizzy, Captain Jerk, Alex Smith, Alexander Smith, maybe a few others I'm not aware of, and we've all chipped in. He's on a good way to his uh, 400 Australian dollars. So, if you're watching this, you want to help a guy What's the saying? What's the saying? Give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, you'll feed him for life. Well, this is what we're doing. There's a guy there who's willing to work, make himself money, and needs the tools. At the moment he's stuck, he can't make them, he can't make any money because his tools are broken. If you're a fellow metal worker out there, and you feel that you can spur a few pounds, dollars, pence, yan, yen, whatever, euros, 
there'll be an email address under there. PayPal them. Just PayPal them a few. A bit. It not have to be a lot. Just a bit. If there's thousands of us and we all give a little bit, you'll have enough. Anyway, enough of that. Chopper's rule. I trust that uh, the YouTube community will support you. I know I will. About myself, well, I've totally I've been busy, all sorts. I'm on with this, I'm on with that, I'm trying to make room in here as always. Uh, I've been on a few live streams, keep that going. Can't just delve in onto the PC because it's not been available. I need to buy myself a laptop. I don't need a GoFundMe for that. I can do that myself quite adequately. I was on Cliff's Shed giveaway. Pop over to Cliff's Shed. I actually won his August draw and he's doing a monthly draw from now on. So uh, there'll be more to that. There'll be another video coming up for that when I actually get the uh, the prize delivered to me. And of course, let's go and have a look at the old guy's shed. Well, we all know that shed door by now. But before I go in there, let me take you around the back. I don't know if you can recall what the garden looked like. So we come round and we've got the others. Hey, whoa! What the uh, garden looked like, well, especially behind here, it was a humongous mess. So, uh, I've kind of dug all that out, dug a drainage channel in, and uh, she had some flags around there, so I've relayed some flags. As you know, as Guido will know, did some metal working and flashed this lot over. I really need to hammer it down and look a bit more flush. Come on. Let's go and have a let's go and have a look in this shed. <laughs> let's undo this. Ah, now before I open it, let's have a look at what it used to be like. In. Right, prepare to be amazed. Well, amazed, I have put a fair bit of effort into this job. Uh, thoroughly cleaned it out. Well, you can see from the video you've just watched, uh, I've, I've ways to go yet. <laughs> uh, the wooden chest full of shit, still full of shit. I've just basically tidied everything up. There's my old kitchen wall unit. There's something moving in here. There's my old kitchen wall units. There's my old kitchen unit. My old kitchen cook booked up. Uh, you saw from the last video, I built a bit of a work bench and I put some old kitchen cupboards up there and up there. And we had one single solitary light bulb, which had probably not been changed for about 20 years and give up the ghost. So I've replaced that with a fluorescent. I put way too much time into this. See, it's not even my garage. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm a man of my word and I said, I'd do it. And if I say I'll do something, then I'll do it to the best of my ability. And that's all that's said to be done there, isn't there? I mean, I don't mind helping four coach who need help. Uh, I've way put too much time into that shed. I should put the same... My wife's, my wife's going mad. She's saying like, why won't you put the same effort into your own place? I mean, it, it, it's comical really. I'm saying to the daughter, Anne, hey Anne, look at this, waste of time, rubbish, keep it, bin it. And she, well, and she dithers, she's worse than me, she holds everything. And she dithers, and I say, right, I'll make your mind up and get rid of it. Why can't somebody come in here and do that for me? But the hell, I'd have a heart attack. Anyway, Ian, 
in the shed and I'll try to uh, get a few videos out. Bit winter's coming. Oh, I'll be sitting in here and bloody freezing me bits off. Anyway, here in the shed. Oh, catch you later. Bye.